up? So the Coco, it is your friendly neighborhood PK here, and we're rounding out the year 2020. We recently had the conclusion of the 2020 awards for various players that have gotten like the most monsters killed and the highest power and most resources collected and all that jazz. Um, pretty much after True World, all the events have kind of come to a halt between True World and the... Um, transfer event that was going on so they did give us an invasion that just popped up we had 90 percent reductions for that um so i want to hear you guys uh, or see you guys riding into the forum or into vvip or just into the game um, because you can do that you can do the contact us through the more icon in the game and just let these developers know how much you appreciate reductions like that because it does make it more affordable for everybody to be able to unshield and play and test things so I was really excited to see that but everything's kind of slowed down everybody's going a little bit of stir crazy and they did give us the new January event calendar so we will come into the forum for that do, 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 do. It's going to be under the event tab. I'm going to be linking a whole bunch of developer stuff below because they release a lot of things on the forum today. You can see postings one hour ago, one hour ago, one hour ago. We've had a lot, a lot of updates. So we're going to look at this January calendar. We do have a 2020 our 2021 New Year login reward event that just started. It's going to be running for two weeks. Um, you can log in and look at your little Christmas tree and see what rewards you're going to be getting, or you can look at the developer link as well. Uh, I know that the first week, a lot of it's going to be AP. The second week, there's going to be some sulfur and diamond shards and things like that as well. I didn't look too heavily into it, but I did take a glance at it just to, to find out what I could expect. Now, our normal events that we're used to having like alliance tournament and battle royale and death matches are all going to be receiving five times the reward so it's super important um, especially for those that don't like to invest a lot of money in the game but do like to invest a lot of their time to be logging in and participating in these events because you want to reap the most rewards and five times the rewards is pretty sweet not gonna lie we have an enhanced invasion rift event that sounds kind of cool that's going to run a whole week. Another invasion. A blood moon war. A mystery season event. And then for another whole week, we have take the sanctuary event. That sounds kind of cool. It's probably something to do with um, what they put in the 1028 patch notice addendum update. I'm just throwing all these words together. I don't even know if they go together. Um, but they mentioned something about a token that you can... Um, something to do with the Alliance Sanctuaries. Or not the Alliance the actual Sanctuaries. And we could look we could look at that later. But I bet that has to... I bet that coincides together. We haven't had a really big patch update soon. So we're probably going to be receiving one. Um, I wouldn't be too surprised if we see stuff like new research. And obviously some new things that'll help with the game hopefully some stuff that'll help some people with defenses um i know i could even use some help with defenses so i will be excited to see what they can offer us with there of course we have another dark moon um a lot of people are gonna be stoked about that always a good uh good chance to get a lot of rewards and resources through dark moon Another invasion towards the end and a take of the throne event. So there's several things that are happening that we, that I, I don't know, they sound really cool. I have no idea what they are, but they sound really cool. And a continental domination to end January. So especially coming out of the lull that we had, it seems, or had, have, having, it seems pretty action packed. But I think that we need that right now because everybody's just, they're going nuts. They want to do stuff, man. So that's the end of that calendar. We can also take a look at those 2020, um, I always forget what they call it, the, the, the awards. We'll look at the announcements. Iron Throne Awards. Here we are. 
So congratulations to anybody that was able to obtain any of these rankings. It takes a huge amount of investment and time and just effort <laughs> all the way around. So congratulations, as well as to anybody that's within the alliances um, of these named people, because I'm sure that they required a lot of support from those around them as well. So congratulations. And it's exciting now to kick off 2021 and start it all over again. <laughs> So that's about it, guys. Again, I'm going to link all the information down below. So make sure you check out all the developer stuffs. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to close out 2020, start 2021 with y'all, and see all the awesome stuff that's going to be coming and challenges that it brings with it. So make sure you check out our website at www.ironthroneelite.com. Uh, like, subscribe, and until next time.